All right, here with Eric Gomez of Golden Boy. Big fights here. How do you feel? Good, good. Excited. Uh, you can feel the buzz here in Las Vegas. Um, it seems like it was a long process. Uh, probably took all together like a year when we first started talking, and we're finally here. It's very exciting. One year to make the fight, but I feel like this has been marinating for, what, three, four years? I yeah, feel like you couldn't like, ask either guy about each other. Realistically, it's been about two and a half years. You know, we started, you know, kind of like buzzing each other, talking. It starts with the fighters. When the fighters really want something that bad, it'll get done. It'll get done. That, that's a, it's a great lesson, this fight. For all you fighters that want big fights, go to your promoter, go to your manager and say, demand what you want. Demand what you want. And that's how, you know, that's how, that's how we were able to get it done. I think Golden Boy's always, that's always been your guy's motto. It yeah. starts at the top with Oscar. He fought, he fought everybody. Yep. And you could see that Ryan really pushed for this fight. He was the one that said, I want this fight. I want this fight. So I 100% I agree with, with that uh, line of, of, of thinking. Um, now we're here. And what do you think about the fight? We got to talk about the fight. I mean, obviously, Toronto is a, a favorite in this fight, but your guy is a live dog, I believe. No, of course. I mean, Ryan has all the qualities. He's got everything you want in your fighter uh, uh, for advantages. You know, he's got the height advantage. I would probably give him the speed advantage, uh, the length. Uh, but he's going to have to be in his A game. He's going to have to be very, very careful because Tank can punch with either hand. And all it takes is you know, that one little instance where you blink and he can catch you. Uh, but vice versa. Same thing with Ryan. Yeah, I think... Um a big part of this fight is going to be jumping out to a fast start. Tank's a very slow starter. It's like 34 punches around, which is the lowest in all the boxing. Mm -hmm. So if Ryan can come out quick, that's, not, that's a pretty good game plan. Oh, definitely, definitely. If he can come out quick, stick to that jab, use your advantages. Uh, that's going to be key for him is that jab. And with Tank, you know, Tank's going to have to find a way to get on the inside, you know, because of uh, the length advantage. But, you know, he's never had that problem before with any other fighters. Yeah. Give me an update on uh, some of your other fighters in the stable. Virgil Ortiz, obviously, uh, with that medical condition, which is pretty damn serious. But what's the latest on that? We have a new fight date? He's feeling a lot better. Uh, I've been in communication with the doctor. Um, I've, t I've talked to his dad. Uh, seems to be back to normal now. We rescheduled it for July 8th. Uh, we'll be announcing shortly. We'll get more information. But we're working on it. But July 8th is the target date. So now you talked about how Ellery reached out to you, and this is a big cross-promotion fight, and it could be something that we can see more in boxing. I'm asked this all the time. It's like, why don't more promoters work together? Do you think this could be the start of something? Because when there's always a cross-promotion, there's always that question. Will we see more business between Golden Boy and PBC? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, these are the big events that, that really help carry the sport. Uh, you have to have these. Boxing is very unique because we don't have a season. We don't have a Super Bowl. We don't have the World Series or Finals. The, this is it. This is like our Super Bowl. Uh, and in many, in many ways, you know, you have a fighter that's been built and, and, and you know, they built him up and made him into a, a huge star. PBC did their job. We did our job with Ryan Garcia. So, you know, you get a little protective over your fighters when you do that. You know, there's been a lot of invested in both guys. But at some point, you got to find a way to make this happen. But again, I give a lot of credit to, uh, to both fighters because they went to, Ryan came to us, and, and Gervonta went to his people and said, this is the only fight I want, make it happen. Final prediction. I have a feeling where you're going with this one. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan by knockout. All right, thank you very much for the time. Thank you.